Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. CitystreetsMe.com. We are here in the beautiful city of Wichita, Kansas on the northeast side. We are here with Carla's love it owner, Miss Carla Whaley. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. Thank you for joining us and sitting down with us this afternoon and evening. And first, I have to thank you for sponsoring the City Streets Fashion and Streets 12 photo shoot. Beautiful clothing. If you haven't seen the pictures, CitystreetsMe.com. Get them on there. This lady has some beautiful, beautiful clothes. But while we're here, tell me a little bit about you, your business, Wichita, about you? Well, I've been in the fashion industry going on next year, be 20 years. And um, I taught fashion merchandising and marketing for 11 years at Central Votech, which was used to be at 324 North Emporia. Right. And after being in that industry for such a long time, working at Lewins and Burlington Coat Factory and Cricket Alley, which right. everybody knows in Wichita, um, decided I'd be brave and go open at the Farm and Art Market building. Right on. And so I decided that uh, I'd go in the upstairs area and had a 250 square foot store right. and expanded to a major 500 square foot which is about the size of people's bedroom you know <laughs> right. and kept track of my zip codes and moved out west when there were no clothing stores out west right and was at 21st and Tyler and that's where you started and everything kind of blossomed mm -hmm. for you so so tell me about what is what did your, your drive to be fashionable come from? Where did all that derive to you said, I want to open my own business and I want to be in fashion? It probably started back when I was in grade school because my grandmother made wedding dresses and all of the wedding attendants and they were beautiful, all hand embroidered and appliqued and uh, to have more clothes I found out if you sewed your clothes you could have more clothes. Right. So I started making my own clothes all through junior high and high school and skipped lunch and took my lunch money and bought fabric. Right. And that's where it all started. Entrepreneur in it. Before before we go into the entrepreneur thing, let, let me let me ask you about the clothing. You you have some unique designs and I, I they're, they're absolutely gorgeous. Tell me about where do, where do you, you you articulate your vision as you put this together? Where does where where does the vision with that come from? Well, I think Wichita women don't really want to shop the big box stores where right. you end up having the same look everywhere you go. No matter what city, any of the big box stores is going to carry the same merchandise. Right. And I think a lot of women like to shop boutiques because you get that unique look in each owner or buyer of a boutique has their own particular flair for buying. Mine is more boho chic. Uh, comfort is the name of the game. Right. Um, easy care. People hate to have all those big dry cleaning bills. Right, right. I like that. I like that. So I, I want you, I want to get, I want to get a little business in depth with you now. Now that you, you are an entrepreneur, you have started your own business. Um, what is, what has been some of the struggle the highs and the lows of being an entrepreneur? Highs and lows, I would say tr finding the right location is number one. Uh, finding a banker that will work with you because if you're really serious about it, you should do it on your own. You shouldn't search out and find all these partners because then everybody has an opinion. Right. And you end up not having the concept that you first looked at. Right. It's better to um, have a business plan and decide where you're going, start out small, and then you can grow. Right on, right on. With that, if you could give um, any words of advice to any young entrepreneurs out there right now, what would, what would be some of the key things that you would say, hey, this is what you need to do as far as building your business? Go to work within the industry that you want to be in. Find out what works for them and what doesn't work for them. Right. I worked in retail for many years and was in a, like assistant management to see how things worked. Um, I have worked at market for a rep to see how people buy. Right. You have to work within the industry and educate yourself. Don't just say, I have always uh, wanted to do this so now I'm going to do it. You right. have to find out you know, what's working for those particular people. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, before, before we get out of here, I want to I ask you this. Um, 
in, in five years, let's, let's say five years, where do, where do you see yourself? Are you, do you see yourself just expanded all over or are you just, you know what, this is beautiful, I'm happy doing what I'm doing and I love my people. Where are we at in five years? Probably low key. I, I would rather just have one store because I've had multiple stores before. Right. I had three at one time going on, East, West, and Old Town. And it's very difficult because your customers want to see you. Right. And when you're not there, and that's another secret, you have to work your own store. Right. And be in the business. Or you lose that hands-on touch. Right. And I think when you have multiple stores, you, you lose that sense of what the customers want. Right. Excellent. Candid. Love it. Thank you. Before we get out of here, um, give our give our viewers uh, hours of operation, days, and anything you want to get out about Miss Carla's Love It, beautiful clothing, anything. Well, we're open Monday through Friday from 10 to 7, Saturday 10 to 6, and on Sunday from 12 to 5. And we hope that you can come in and see us. We have layaway also. And love to help you out with all your fashion needs. Come in, come see them. If you don't believe me, look on the CityStreetsMe.com website. Beautiful clothes on beautiful models. Everything that you want to see. Come and support this business. Love it to death. And like I said, a very big thank you for being a sponsor for our Fashion in the Streets 12 photo shoot. Yeah, thank you thank very you much. Thank you for asking. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been CityStreetsMe.com here with Carlos Lovett, owner, Ms. Carla Whaley. Beautiful clothing, beautiful individual, beautiful business. Come down here and support it. We're City Streets. We're out of here. One.